a Baltimore judge granted Keith Davis Jr. a new trial after fresh questions emerged about the prison witness whose testimony helped convict him in the killing of Pimlico Race Corps security guard, his attorney said. Circuit Court Judge Lynn Stewart Mays said jurors received a sanitized version of the criminal history of David Gutierrez, who testified that Davis had confessed the killing to him. Mays said she found no misconduct on the part of prosecutors, but said there was a significant possibility that the undisclosed information about Gutierrez's role in a Texas gang murder could have changed the outcome of the trial. Davis, 26, was convicted of second-degree murder in the death of Kevin Jones, a 22-year-old who was gunned down in a parking lot next to Pimlico while walking to work in June 2015. Davis has maintained his innocence and said the murder weapon was planted on him after he was shot by police, an incident that occurred just hours after Jones was killed. Davis defense attorney, Latoya Francis Williams filed a motion after his October conviction in which she said key information had been withheld about Gutierrez, a federal inmate convicted of racketeering in Texas who was serving his time in Maryland. Frances Williams said she was grateful for the ruling and said she hoped the state would take the time to look at what's really going on in this case. In a statement, the state's attorney's office said it plans to try the case again, we respect the judge's decision and look forward to presenting the facts of this case again in the pursuit of justice for the family of Mr. Jones previously, prosecutors said they followed court rules related to witnesses, and that the conviction should stand given the totality of the evidence against Davis. The case was tried by prosecutors from the office's Conviction Integrity Unit, which top prosecutor Marilyn Mosby has touted for playing a major role in getting wrongful convictions overturned. City activists have taken up Davis' cause, and Friday's courtroom was packed with spectators. On Friday, Francis Williams presented testimony from a former cellmate of the prison witness, who took the witness stand and disputed Gutierrez's account. Gutierrez said Davis lived in a different area of the prison but visited his cell to buy alcohol from his cellmate. Ida Shamba testified that he was a devout Muslim who teaches twice-weekly religion classes to other inmates, and has never drank in his life. What I'm preaching is totally against it, he testified. He also said he had never met Davis, and that the rules of the building where he is held prevent inmates from visiting others or hanging out in each other's cells. But Mays said she was swayed by arguments that Gutierrez had not fully acknowledged the crimes for which he is imprisoned. He said he was convicted of racketeering, and when pressed said he had participating in drug trafficking. His plea agreement shows he admitted to taking part in a murder. Just hours after Jones was killed, Davis was shot by police after being chased by officers responding to a robbery report. Nearly a year later, police said the gun recovered from scene where Davis was shot was matched to the gun used to kill Jones.